Hello, I'm Dr. E. Welcome to the Sexual Health Center. On this couch, I hear a lot of stories. People come here, I think a lot about what people say when they're on this couch. And a big issue that's going on in my world is that of um, homosexuality, LGBTI rights, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex and queer rights. There is still much criminalization of LGBTI people in Africa. And I work on that level on an international level of sexual health and sexual rights. But I'm talking to you today and I'm talking to you about your own sexual orientation. You might be feeling that even though we live in a country in South Africa where there is no criminalization of homosexuality, you find that you still suffer enormously because you may be LGBT or I. You may find that you have difficulty in coming out to yourself and acknowledging to yourself that you may be a gay person. And you might ask the question of why am I gay? Well, if you come in or consult with a religious consultant, somebody from a religious organization, they'll tell you that it's sinful. If you maybe speak to certain medical professional people, they may tell you that it's pathological. So you really can get very hurt by trying to understand why you are gay in a world that still criminalizes and is non-accepting of difference, of gender diversity and of sexual orientation that isn't just heterosexual. Well, we take on the model of a biological one, which is looking at hormones and saying, actually, this isn't a choice that you make. This isn't a preference that you make. Of course, people are very flexible in their sexual orientation, but usually you know whom you're attracted to, who you feel in love with, who you feel in lust with, who you want to be in a relationship with. And those things become pretty standard for you from a very young age. And it isn't your choice. I don't think anybody would choose to be different in a way that's going to be harmful to you and as I said there is still harm to people who are known to be non-heterosexual even in our own country. Asking yourself why are you gay seems a silly argument, seems a silly question. Accepting who you are and tolerating who you are is your first step to being able to work as your own activist in your own communities and informing and educating people that being gay, being LGBTI is just being you. I hope that you were able to find out more information from me and find out from your other sources so that you become informed, that you become more comfortable with yourself and stop asking the question, why am I gay? To find out more information, visit my website and find me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter.